actually started the week pretty well on Monday Monday was the only warm day and I went to the beach for the last time here in Zagreb they have a public beach it's Lake Yaron it's really blue and really pretty and really big and usually so lonely so you can swim and lay around without many people around you and I actually swam for the last time and I lay down on the beach I think I got a little tan and then in a few hours after I put my hammock on the trees it started to be so windy and my hammock was flying away and I succeeded to have some shots there I think I'll put that in the vlog and that's it that was the last highlight of my week and then it started to rain and be cloudy so I didn't really go out but it was so worth it that last time so you remember 1st of September while everybody was going to university I was on the beach and then we just stayed home my boyfriend cooked first time ever paprika for me I was so proud <laughs> of this volcanic dish I really don't like that much traditional food because it's good but you cannot eat it every day so he tried to impress me and he did and then we just worked both of us every day and I practiced watercolor it's the first week of September and I'm still in Zagreb I will go by the end of this month home back home because my university is waiting for me and our studies usually start in September and I'm not there so cheers to me so I decided it was about time to start sketching and practicing especially my watercolor skills watercolor is very challenging it's not for everyone and I really thought that I hate it but it was like a hate love relationship between us and now and always I liked it always but it's so hard to do it and every time you want you picture something in your mind beautiful and cool and I just mess it very much and all the light colors go dark and I don't keep any highlights so I'm just ruining it over and over again so I don't even know how I passed my watercolor exams I was like that one student that will say late and come to almost every almost every watercolor lesson just to be there just to fake it till i make it and it didn't happen two years have gone for nothing and these days on monday probably i was watching some tutorials on instagram on igtv because now it's the thing and i discovered some watercolor artists he was doing a lot of tutorial, tutorials because he's a teacher and I really liked it and I tried myself and I was like oh finally yellow is yellow and green is green so I started to practice I went for a few plein airs in Zagreb it was a little awkward because you drag a lot of attention and if you suck you get <laughs> it's like people come by and take a look at your watercolor sketch and you're like no please don't look at me no 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 it's so bad and they're like oh it's so pretty you're so good and it's not true <laughs> because it's not true so anyway this week was kind of productive for me but only watercolor wise because i haven't done anything else but it's september and september is a productive month and i need to fill my chakras with work so that i can keep doing it i am a student at Pedagogical University of Yongranga. It's my third year now. And I am studying graphic design. Well, in Soviet style graphic design, it means you have to learn some fine art and printmaking and a little bit of graphic design. But it's good for Kishinev because we don't usually have a fa faculty, a faculties like that, that's media, mixed media, we don't have anything of that. We have, all of us have to learn how to paint first and then use our skills to make digital paintings. So mostly we have lots of useless, <laughs> let's say, lots of lessons, pedagogical lessons like psychology, pedagogical stuff, how to do art classes 
and so on. Printmaking, which is my main thing. And fine art, another watercolor and just drawing, academic drawing. I liked it. I really like it. Maybe that will sound a surprise for people that know me, but I'm actually enjoying it. Because I wanted to go for art since I was a little girl, but my plans have been messed up. I wanted to go for an art college after my ninth grade, but I didn't somehow. I wasn't motivated because art is so boring for me. I was really bored to do some academic painting weeks in a row in art classes and I didn't imagine me doing that for life and I still don't but it was a mistake because you really need all the practice to be a good artist any kind of art it doesn't mean it doesn't matter what I'm gonna do so a good base it's a good thing I advise all the youngsters that want to do art show at least take some art lessons in their life to feel that to feel how it's going but I know some people that are very good at graphic design, very good in every other medium without even knowing how to paint. My boyfriend is a 3D artist and he is self-taught. I'm really proud of him. He is doing great. He, of course, he paints very well. But not anymore because he's just working on those screens over there. And that's his biggest passion and that's really cool. It's really nice right now to be an artist. When I grew up, everybody was telling me that art is so cheap and you I will never make any money, I will not be happy and blah 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 because my parents cared about me. But in a way I'm thankful to them and in a way I'm not because if they pushed me a little bit further I would get a scholarship at the art college and be already good. But I had a lot of, a lot of challenges in my way and until I came back in art, it took me a while. So now I am 23 years old, third year student, finally. I have one more year to go and then we'll see, I don't know. But I, I never choose art, I never worked as an artist, I never made money as an artist, a little bit as a photographer, which I'm not that good as well. So, I don't know why, I'm just not making it through like a professional level. I'm not sure what I want to do until now. It will... I just don't know. So this week I did my paintings and I... It were different moments of evening and morning and day and blah blah blah. I never have a schedule of doing anything, so I'm not, very, I'm not a disciplined person, so it just happened randomly. <laughs> and today is already Friday, and I hope I'm gonna do something more on weekend so I can fill up this vlog of mine. <laughs> but if not, it will be just it, me and art. <laughs> but in art you have to be very dedicated. And I'm not really that dedicated because I like many things in this life and I like to live and to the fullest and enjoy the moments and travel and stay with people sometimes so I never have that much time to, to give to art and art requires it all so that's my path My painting mood started when the owner of the coffee place Monocycle Coffee here in Zagreb that I'm usually going to asked me to make a drawing of the facade of the entrance of his uh, place and he gave me a photo and I just did. I did one sketch and another sketch and another sketch and did it in watercolor. I don't know why I chose watercolor, I'm not that confident in that, but I wanted to do that in watercolor. So I did it and I gave it to him and he was so happy. <laughs> he, was, he actually liked it. I'm not very proud of it, but it's cool that somebody appreciates it. So then I just felt that I have to do more. Finally, I have to learn how to work in this watercolor, so I did a little more practice. I'm working on another one right now, and this one is the best yet. I didn't put the shadows, but finally the colors are clean, pretty clean. I didn't mess them up by adding some 
too many layers so I have to finish this one and then I will practice another one with a tutorial on YouTube so I learn a little bit more about one more style and I will probably go out in the building if I can and in this application I'm being pretty free for in other words I'm taking paint directly from the palette using a pretty large brush and mixing the color directly on the painting I'm not really this is how I'm practicing watercolor tutorials. It helps me build some new techniques because every watercolor artist does it in a different way and it's really cool to know how people that learned how to paint for 15-20 years are doing it. So he's kind of doing wet and wet. I don't know what I'm doing, but it really builds me up. So a few times I'm just doing a few tutorials a day so I have different types of different buildings and then I am use, using all the knowledge that I learned so I can put it in my own works because the repetition is the mother of knowledge.